Rasa Rago can do things no other R rifle can do, with rolls that essentially give you unlimited ammo just by simply landing continuous hits, as well as the fact that this is the only auto rifle with a new perk permeability, which is a better version of Osmosis, which can run in the energy slot and in the third column, meaning you can have triple strand and stasis loadouts, as well as being able to pair it with other damage perks like Onslaught or Golden Tricorn. The best part is it has a rather small perk pool, and you can now farm this directly thanks to Lost Sectors now offering world loot drops. Just simply use today in Destiny.com website, click on the Lost Sector of the day, and it will show you if Ross Arago is available to farm that day. Now I'm going to primarily focus on the roles to consider for PvE, because with Prosecutor and the Summoner existing, most of you likely won't be using this in the Crucible. With that said, towards the end I will mention the role I myself would use if you do want to take this into PvP. So I'm going to come right out and just tell you about the unlimited ammo role I mentioned in the beginning, which just happened to be the first drop of this weapon that I got, and that's Rewind Rounds paired with Deconstruct. You heard me right, the perk Deconstruct sounds pretty meh on paper, but the part people overlook is that it refunds 10% of your magazine on hits, and it does so out of thin air rather than reserves, which is an important thing because unlike perks like Subsistence, it's not pulling from reserves and it also doesn't require kills, making it extremely passive and ensuring that it's always being utilized to some extent. In fact, the hits to proc it don't even have to be the same target. Pair this with Rewind Rounds, which refunds 60% of your hits into the magazine from reserves once you empty the magazine, and you can essentially achieve Actium War Rig levels of tomfoolery without even having to run the exotic. If you don't believe me, just watch this clip. Now this doesn't mean you won't ever have to reload, because remember Rewind Rounds doesn't proc off the same mag that it refunds the bullets on, but it does mean you won't have to reload near as often, and it makes this a really great option for also dealing with champions. I could also see this being a really strong option in Grandmaster Nightfalls, Master Dungeons, and possibly even Day 1 Raids, because enemy health is a lot chunkier, and you won't have to reload as often, if ever. Now as much fun as I've been having with this role, I understand it's not for everyone, I did get to also try out this weapon with Onslaught, and I actually like this perk even better on this weapon than Adjudicator, because the larger magazine helps compensate for the RPM ramp up as Onslaught tears through this magazine. In fact, I think perks like Subsistence and Rewind Rounds could pair really nicely with this. With that said, if you want to lean into this for Void Builds, then Repulsor Brace would also pair really nicely with Onslaught. Especially if you're a hunter running your Falcons, I could see this being a really fun combination. I also want to point out how much I've actually been enjoying the combination of permeability with Onslaught together, especially when running strand builds. In fact, I talked about this perk permeability in a recent video which I'll leave a link to in the description below. As you can see here in the gameplay, by turning it into a strand auto rifle thanks to permeability, I'm getting not only bonus damage from Onslaught, but I'm also able to reap the benefits of Sever, Unraveling Rounds, and even Weapon Surge buffs from exotics like Foe Tracer. So that's definitely a role worth trying out for yourself. Now one other perk combo that is very unique and rare right now is actually Golden Tricorn paired with permeability. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, Golden Tricorn typically isn't a great perk on Void Weapons, but paired with permeability, you can essentially open up Golden Tricorn times 2 to work on any subclass you are currently running. And one advantage of permeability a lot of people overlook is that it can actually synergize with your build because it can take advantage of subclass verbs as well as fragments that require weapon kills of those same type of elements. Now I want to highlight one other unique perk combination here that could actually be really strong for producing a ton of orbs, and that's attrition orbs paired with permeability. Like deconstruct, it only requires hits on enemies in general, and it's based solely on hits, meaning it doesn't matter how much time it takes between hits, it will proc when that hit requirement of 60% of the magazine is met. Also, because of permeability, we can multiply that orb generation effect when using fragments like amplitude on arc, whisper of bonds on stasis, and ember of wonder or threat of wisdom, or you can forego permeability and just use Echo of Harvest for Void and pair attrition orbs with Rewind Rounds or Subsistence instead because remember attrition procs on the base magazine. As for the magazine, if you do decide to go with Onslaught, I would try to at the very least bump up your stability with Steady Rounds as well as other great options like Tactical Mag and Flared Magwell. As for the barrel, I would again lean into stability for Onslaught, so Chambered Comp, Small Bore, or Polygonal Rifling, any of those will work well, or you could even run Arrowhead Break to improve your recoil 
if that matters to you. And finally, for the master work, I'm running stability, but you could also spec into reload. Now, if you do want to use this in the crucible, this is the role I would go for myself. Arrowhead break, accurized rounds with a range master work, dynamic sway reduction, and onslaught, because at onslaught times one, we can achieve that 0.67 time to kill. Well, that's going to wrap up today's video. Thank you so much, Guardians, for tuning in. I would love to hear in the comments below what roles you're chasing on this weapon. And again, remember to stay classy, stay safe, and I will catch you guardians later.